We are joined now by the two program chairs for this year's meeting, Dr. Susan Marcusi and Dr. Andre Chalet. It's great to have both of you with us today. Thank you. Thank you. So one thing that's so interesting about this field is that it encompasses such a breadth of science. Talk to me a little bit about what people are going to hear at this year's conference. Well, that's exactly right. That's what's so exciting about the meeting is its breadth. And what we've tried to do this year is really highlight uh, the breadth and scale of research that's done in biophysics, both at the scale of the size of the, from molecules all the way up to organisms, and in the scale of individual science and team science. And this year we sort of had a focus on uh, having both experimental and computational highlighted for every session we have. So it's a real mixing of the two, which I think was our goal from the beginning. That's exactly right, yes. In some sense, the meeting uh, chose us. Uh, Angela Gronborn, who's the president of the society, had an, a vague idea, presumably, or maybe it was more than vague, uh, to make it a, an integrative meeting with a significant component of computational biology um, and uh, so she chose us as uh, program chairs, co-chairs uh, accordingly based on our research which is um, in a small way uh, as much as it can representing um, integrative approaches uh, including both computation and experiment um, across uh, a subset of scales uh, that the meeting represents, but we extrapolated from what we do in our labs uh, to get to the meeting at large. Fantastic. Talk to me a little bit about some of the new topics or maybe emerging trends that you felt were really important to make sure were included. There's been a shift in science to doing science at a scale of collaboration and uh, groups of people with different expertise on a specific topic or goal. And so we actually have some particular sessions that are highlighting those kinds of things this year, which I think is really novel and exciting. Yeah, in, in particular, my, my meme is, is cell mapping uh, these days, and there's a symposium on, on, on cell mapping, it's entitled that way, uh, that will highlight a number of consortia uh, of very different sci types of scientists who are banding together in order to perform experiments and computations that are required to map uh, different kinds of cells uh, in a very uh, deliberate, predictive, quantitative fashion. Um, that's certainly a highlight for me. And there's a kind of matching workshops uh, that emphasize various tools involved in this endeavor. And there's maybe one or two other sessions that are particularly relevant to that. Uh, bigger effort, overall effort, uh, for example, integrative modeling from macromolecules to cells is kind of in service of this uh, culminating cell mapping session for me. And I think at the same level there's a, a session I'm super excited about which is how can we take all of the new genomic information that's coming out and harness that sequence information to learn about properties of molecules, particularly proteins and their structure and function. So that's one of the symposia that I'm super excited to go to. All right, so th there's plenty of that part going to the, the talks, but what other highlights are there? There has to be so much more going yeah. on. So this is definitely one of my favorite meetings of the year that I go to because of the non-science or the non-research talk part of it. There's the platform sessions, which is a lot of younger people, students and postdocs, the people who actually take the data, telling us the details of their data. And I always find something really exciting there. Uh, of course, bumping up into people in the hallway is really great here. And then um, there's a lot of specific career development things that I'm looking forward to. Particularly, I think there's one on impos uh, not imposter syndrome so much as unconscious bias and how we can get over that. And I come back learning quite a bit when I go from those, so I'm looking forward to all of those. Fantastic. Anything else you can think of that you're just, yeah. that's going to be that nugget you take home, the highlight? We'll have to see. I'm hoping for something unpredictable and great to happen. Uh, the odds of that are high because there's a lot of great people here. You can learn a lot just from bumping up, bumping into people yeah. in the hallways here and get as much science as you get from the, from the platforms and the symposia that we've organized. Fantastic. So, Let's talk about the attendees. They've all come, come together, and they're going to disperse again and go home. What do you want them to get out of this experience? I hope that they find their community here, that they find both scientific uh, interest and learn new things that they haven't seen in the literature yet, and also find a networking of people at whatever level they want to continue interacting with and continue interacting with the Biophysical Society that provides the resources for our field in many ways. 
I, I think the main thing would be to deepen and broaden their science. A good goal. Uh, Dr. Marcusi, Dr. Shalee, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. If you want to watch more from the Biophysical Society meeting, check out some of our other videos and don't forget to subscribe.